We pulled the game. Or no man has game before. Game Ventures! Yeah! Hey yo, what's up guys? So, welcome everybody to Game Ventures. I'm your host, Michael J. Noir. And uh, I looks like I'm fucking playing through Super Mario 64 again. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what to do in this mission. Okay, rematch with Koopa the Quick. Alright, so we're going to kick his ass again, apparently. Um, I barely remember this level. This is probably one of my least favorite levels to play in Super Mario. Fuck. Mainly because of that. It's really, like... It's either really painstakingly slow to get across the map, or really painstakingly fast, and you fall off. And so, unfortunately, uh, this map does not have a very good in-between. I don't know if I just fell off or not, but apparently, yes, I did fall. I fell off, apparently. But yeah, I'm actually playing alone right now, because, um, because uh, Brandon actually is going to get a haircut, and I believe he, like... He like schedules haircuts or something. I don't know. He's kind of a he's kind of weird. I I remember when um I guess for like better better scheduling and like better like assistance. I guess you you know schedule haircuts. I don't really get haircuts because uh, that's not how I roll. I cut my own hair because I'm totally not weird. Only weirdos get haircuts. So you know. Yeah. I'm trying my hardest to. Remember what to do, as well as being a decent conversationalist during this uh, this Let's Play here. So I believe you go down here, and then you go back into normal size. Do, 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 do. I don't remember that. Oh, that's not even anything. Okay, that's just a little piece of, piece of land that's erected for some reason. Long time no see. Wow, have you gotten fast. Have you been training on the sly, or is it the power of the stars? I've been feeling down about losing the last race. This is my home course. How about a rematch? This goal is in Windswept Valley. Ready? Uh, uh, don't go. Go? Go? Okay, let's go. Where's Windswept Valley? Um, do we go here? I have no idea. Shit. Um, well, I guess it's over here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Shit, no! Damn it! Not only did I get my ass kicked by fucking Koopa the Quick, at the very last second, I fucking fell off the map. It's clumsy me. I'm actually, it's really funny because I'm actually quite clumsy at games like these. Typically, like, I'm not very, like, coordinated at Mario games, like, I guess the 2D side-scrolling ones, like, you know, like, fucking the classic Mario games, and so, I'm actually quite clumsy in them, I have the most hardest time playing fucking Super Mario, like, 3D World, like, the new ones, because, like, I'm just so bad and uncoordinated, uncoordinated and clumsy at the, um, at the side scrolling and controlling my character and keeping him on the fucking like l level, but uh, when it comes to like 3D, I'm I'm like decent, decent at best. I don't think I'm any good, obviously, because of just fucking what's going on now. Do 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 do. Yes, calm down there, little boy. Long time no see. Wow, it's like you just said this. Are you ready? You ready? Hope I can get a good fucking lead on him this time. Do 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 do. Shit! Oh, please don't tell tell me you're behind me. Oh shit! I almost went there. Yeah, I won. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Fucking Koopa the Quick, you're too slow. No way, you beat me again, and I just spent my entire savings on this new Koopa Mach 1 Sprint Shoes. Here, I guess I have to hand over this star to the winner of the race now. Congratulations, Mario. Yay, I got a star. You get a star, and you get a star? God, it's like fucking Oprah. 
And I get a star, you get a star. Look under your chairs, everyone! Under your fucking computer chairs! There's a star! I don't know what the hell else to do in the in these, uh, fucking... This painting, I suppose. Five itty-bitty secrets. Alright, so... Five itty-bitty secrets. One. Brandon's weird. Two. He gets haircuts. Three. He drives a car. Four. I don't fucking know. Five. Where's my fucking star? I... Shit. Five itty bitty secrets. So you guys have to, like, help me out here. So... Can you point to me where I'm supposed to get the five secrets at? I don't have a map, so this isn't exactly the, the greatest of Dora experiences. Gotta take a leap of faith. Yeah! Mother Nature, bitch! See, that's all you have to do in life. Just, like, jump off a cliff, take a leap of faith, trust that Mother Nature's there to... Summon a giant wind gust to miraculously hold up your entire weight. And propel you to your goals and dreams and aspirations. You see, your aspirations, they summon the power of the fucking Earth Spirit. Please don't fall off the map. Thank Christ I did not fall off the map. Alright, so Earth Spirit is now shooting fire at me. No, that is just a shy guy. Not very shy. If you're fucking attacking me. Am I really stuck on this wall? Jesus. Naturally. Naturally. Come on. Come on, Mario. Come on. I'm out to give up my Mario license. Jesus. I... I... <sighs> After... I think my Marioing license has just been revoked. I think that's just confirmation right there. So, um, let's just say fuck this world for now. We'll come back to it later. So, um, I'm probably going to try... Mm, this city level is always really fun. I actually liked it a lot when I was younger. I always loved, uh, the water levels. I really loved water when I was young. I don't know where it all went wrong. Because I'm... I mean, well, actually, you know what? I'm not afraid of... Afraid of, uh, fucking water. One thing I am afraid of is flying over water. Like, that shit is just... No. You just don't do that. You don't fly over water. Because that shit's fucking scary. I mean, I, I'm aware that flying is one of the most safest forms of transportation. I've been over that whole, like, thought process of, like... Oh, it's okay. Like, you can face your fears this way. But it's like... I just don't... I'm not comfortable with it. At all. Shit. I always love these little guys' faces. Oh, look at him. Look at how goofy and wacky he looks. Yeah. Aww. Then, like, the second you touch him, he's just like, Oh my god, I never noticed that. He has a fucking devious face. Jesus. I always love how angry they looked when they throw you. Or not. I guess they don't. <laughs> Do you guys remember that uh, fucking M Mario Milk ad? That was uh, like in the fucking 90s. It was like a God Milk commercial. I think it was on like this level. Because he was like trying to get up this fucking brick right here. It's like, jump Mario, jump! Come on Mario, jump! And, like, he just... Fucking Mario could not jump. And Mario was just, like, fucking looking at them, like, I cannot physically jump this high. Please, stop. Stop fucking making me try. And, like, the kids kept fucking doing it anyways. And fucking, um... What was it? They, they left, and then Mario was just like, You know what? Fucking stupid-ass kids. I'm just fucking... All the shit you made me go through, I'm just gonna fucking steal all of your fucking milk and drink it to myself. And so he, like, jumps out of the TV, fucking leaps over to the kitchen... Opens the fucking door of the refrigerator and then starts drinking their milk for, like, no reason. 
Like, I mean, if I were a fucking video game character that came to life, I would not... Like, the first thing I would do is probably not fucking go to their fridge and drink all of their milk. But then, um, fucking after Mario drinks that shit... Please don't... Okay, there we go. Um, after Mario drinks that shit, he gets, like, super fucking big. And it's like, oh, milk fucking makes you grow fucking big. And so, he's like, got milk? And then, uh, fucking... Mario's just fucking... I just, I just, like... The reason I brought that up is because I, I loved that commercial when I was younger. And... I just lost my entire train of thought. Here, launch me. Launch me! Oh! Damn it. Okay. Okay, launch me in the proper direction this time. That is the improper direction. Alright, it's Okay. Everyone knows water has regenerative healing properties. All I have to do is just breathe. It's a new invention called air. It's an amazing thing. I don't know where to go on this map. Do 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 do. Yeah, I I'm so fucking lost. Hmm. God, I always hated those little, like, galley nipper fucking things. That's one thing that's I that I always found really funny is how we, um... How different people call, um... I mean, like, different, like, sections of people around the United States call, like, different things. Uh, call... They call, like, things different things. Depending on where you're from. Like, for example, like, I, I think, um... The actual real name for those, like, bugs back there are, like... Um, mosquito hawks or something, but like, and and everyone in like I don't know like Florida call them mosquito hawks or like um, just giant mosquitoes or like some shit like that. And then like people in like fucking Nebraska and shit, they um, um, fuck, I completely forgot what they call them, but they call them something really wacky. And then like I think over here in California, we have like the silliest name for like those little mosquito hawk things. Like their actual names are mosquito hawks, but like. Fucking, in California, we call them galley nippers. At least where I'm from in Northern California. It's always the fucking funniest thing. Um. Oh, I forgot we could do that. Alright. Shocking arrow lifts. Okay. So, I, I don't believe that, um, clears anything up. I am really inept at this game. I completely forgot. You just kind of like explore around, I suppose. Do the only logical thing and just explore around. Is this a teleporter spot right here? Probably not. Let's see. If only I had a counterpart playing with me. Who could pretend to say he remembers things, but he's actually just looking at his phone and looking up a walkthrough. BAM! Roasted! <laughs> Got him! Son of a bitch! I believe that's what they call instant karma. It's a good song but John Lennon. God... Speaking of John Lennon, I really love the Beatles. Let's see. Well, I don't have any idea where I could possibly go. I'm fucking god-awful at Mario. Do we hit this? Yes? Okay. S produce these steps. These, like, giant Cheeto steps. The camera gets stuck. I'm just gonna wait for the new one. God, I can't wait for Brandon to get back here from his haircut. Friggin' weirdo. Only weirdos get haircuts. I'm gonna go back on that. Holy shit, I didn't think I would do that! Well, what the hell is that? What was that going to do? 
Yeah, I like to keep my hair like nice and long and like styled all nice and pretty and cute. And so that is my philosophy. My philosophy being long hair do not care. I typically cut my own hair and it that's why it typically looks like crap because I'm not a very good like fucking artiste in that respect. You can just walk on this. Who would have thought that you could walk on a fucking like fucking 45 degree angle? God damn it, Mario. Mario's physics are just so wacky. So silly. You just don't know what's going on in fucking Mario World. But yeah. And so Brandon uh Brennan's a bro, so he uh, he typically gets his hair cut like uh, like a bro. He's got like the little uh, got the little like uh, calic faux hawk thing going on for him. It's just going pretty good for him. All right, that works. At least I get the hell out of this purgatory. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. If I can fucking grab it, there we go. Thank Christ. I'm the one who said I liked that level. Okay, so... My memory seems to have betrayed me. Hopefully, uh, the next one... Shit, I was about to say I remember liking this level, but... I'm not sure if I'll like it right now. Oh my god, there's a star! Can't jump to it, though. Oh, this is some fucking, like... Fucking crazy ass fucking mushroom jungle trippy ass shit over here, cause like there's some fucking fake walls and shit that like bleed on this level. All right, maybe that's a sign, but I'm going to ignore it. I'm gonna do it again. Ho 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 ho! Scale the mountain. That is ex exactly what it said on the screen. Makes for some very interesting commentary. So I guess this is like some quality time with uh, Michael J. Noir, I suppose. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about, so I'm just going to fucking like start talking about rambling around fucking random shit that's going on. I'm really fucking bad at that. I remember this fucking monkey. If I can even fucking get to him. Do 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 do. I remember when I was younger, when I um first played this game, I uh just it was so I, I was so happy when I beat it for the first time. I'm gonna get myself killed. I was so ridiculously happy when I uh, when I beat this game. I remember I remember it very distinctly. I was just like laying in my room. And, uh, just, like, fucking upside down playing this game in my, like, mom's room. And I remember beating Bowser. Fucking Ultra Bowser, whatever the fuck. And I was so ridiculously happy, because it was so hard to me back then. I was like, shit, how old was I? I was like six years old, five or six. This is like 1996, so, like, yeah, I would be, like, around, um, like, five or so. Um... And fucking, I was so ridiculously happy. I was legitimately jumping with joy, and I was so excited. I was like, oh shit, we have the fucking boo world maxed out. I completely forgot. I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Just fucking going off the rails on a fucking crazy train. Or some shit. But yeah, and, like, I was legitimately, like, jumping with joy. Oh, now I remember. I was gonna go the fucking slide. But yeah, and, um... I don't know how it was with you guys or like anybody who ever so unfortunately stumbles upon this uh, shitty comedy act that me and my best friend do. We like to call it Let's Play. We're very original. And so, um, yeah. Like, I remember back in the day, I used to be so happy when I would beat games. I don't know, it's just, I guess, like the loss in magic or maybe it's just the flame of youth that was just in my heart when I would play these games. 
year after year, just games kind of, like, stopped getting all that appealing to me after beating them. Like, there, there could be, like, a multitude of reasons as to why. I mean, I'm just probably going to attribute... I'm going to be fair and just attribute um, the flame of youth to it. And obviously I've gotten older, and so it's not going to entertain me as much beating a video game Mario level. But, you know, it is. it still feels rewarding and fun and great. But <laughs> I'm not, like, jumping for joy and getting super excited over it anymore. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I really wish that I would be able to do that. But, I mean... I guess it wasn't really the flame of youth, because when I come back to these games, and I beat them, I feel really good. I feel really accomplished, like, when me and Brandon, uh, fucking actually finished up. I don't know if I should say this yet, because it's not actually out yet, but, fucking, when when we beat Ocarina of Time, um, we just had this, like, feeling of, like, well, oh my god, that's awesome, I can't believe we beat it, oh my god, and, and you know, it's like, then we had that feeling, like, oh, what's next? Like, oh, what is the brave new venture? hi But yeah, and so... I, I I still get excited. It's just, I get I suppose, common... Uh, not common, but the, the games of today just aren't really all that fun for me, I suppose, to, like, actually beat and have fun with. I forgot exactly what I'm doing, but... Jolly Rollers Bay, red coins on the ship afloat. Okay, so apparently we're supposed to be getting red coins. Oh shit, I should probably keep those for air. Because God knows that uh, if you collect money underwater, you receive health. I believe Obama instated that. Praise be to Obama! Shit. So... I'm not entirely sure where the rest of the red coins are, but... I'm just gonna fucking float around. Float around like a fucking fairy and be gay everywhere. Where the hell? <laughs> yeah, um... Anyways, I was saying, I suppose it's just, like, modern-day gaming just isn't really as memorable as it was before. Like, that's the thing. Like, everyone wants to try to go for, like, some deep, super amazing, either, like, some stupid message or, like, some fucking, like, you know, amazingly deep story. Like, I'm not gonna call out any games, but... I mean, while the endings were interesting, a lot of them were just really... I. That's the thing, like, for me, my taste, one could call it shitty. I call it amazing, because it's mine, and it's only mine. But I'm well aware that I'm not granted the ability to push it on anyone. Um, but, in my opinion, like, I, I'm not a big fan of, like, the really, like, in just fucking... Oh, too deep for you storylines like fucking you know something that ends in like a mind fuck or like something that you know just harps on just the like improbabilities of like reality and like oh you know alternate dimensions and shit and it's like i to me that seems like very cheap storytelling because you're diving out of the realm of of like possibility into impossibility and when you're when you're there you just kind of you have just free agency to do whatever the hell you want. Like, you can just throw in a DOS X Machina, and it's just... It's, there you go. Just whatever. <laughs> and to me, that's really cheap storytelling. I, I'm not a big fan of um, things like that. I'm also not a big fan of, like, paint your own story... Paint your own ending to, like, a story. And so, um... But it seems like a lot of games these days are just thriving off of that. Like, they're just like, thriving off the fact that they can make these, like, quote-unquote, like, super deep, like, m fucking games, and, like, games with, like, messages, and, like, people just eat them up as art, and uh, it's just amazing, and it's, it's, to me, it's just boring and bland, I mean, we are nowhere near, like, game developers are nowhere near the talent of, like, actual real storytellers that are fucking great, like, you know, like, fucking Tolkien or some shit like that, or fucking... Uh, fucking... Fucking Stephen King and shit like that. And it's like... Is that two? Okay, so I got two already. I, I completely forgot the number we were on. But it's like... Like, the, the, the fucking storytelling talent like that, game developers are so far from possessing that. And so... But they just really want to tell a story so great, but it's just executed really poorly. Either because technology can't, like, actually adequately convey the events that go on in the game that could actually influence, like, a better ending, or, like, you know, 
you know, just the fucking typical, like, storytelling, like, events that can actually, like, you know, fucking act as a plot device. Or it's just, that is the extent of their abilities. And so it's, it's really sad that everyone wants games to be, like, a super duper, like, interactive movie when the super duper interactive movies we are getting at its best are shoddy at best when it actually comes to super deep storytelling. Like, real super deep storytelling. Like, actual fucking things you read in novels. Um, and so it's, it's like, I, I'm kind of tired of it, to be honest. And, like, for one thing, like, I really appreciate how Mario is just, how so simple Mario is, but it's just fucking captivating me. Like, Jesus Christ, I'm fucking sitting here, alone, talking to myself, into a microphone, playing fucking Mario, and I'm just, I'm into it, I'm fucking playing it and having fun, even though I'm not, I don't even exactly know what I'm doing right now, but like, I, it's just like, gaming has really lost its charm of just sort of engrossing a player in its gameplay. It's all about storytelling now, and just Even the storytelling isn't even that good, but it's, you know, fuck the gameplay. Oh, you know, fucking... I can do a little, like, fucking, like, basement crawl for 20 minutes just to see a three-hour cutscene. Because, you know, I'm in it for this fucking story. And it's like, yeah, I mean, some games, don't get me wrong, a lot of games have good stories for video games. However, when I play a video game, I don't play a video game just solely for storytelling. If I wanted a story, I'd fucking read a book. Or anything that fucking actually has legitimate fucking creative power and thought process behind its fucking creation. And so, <laughs> when I play a fucking video game, I'm playing it for fucking gameplay. And it's just, it, it's almost like, it... it <laughs> I'm not exactly sure where the gaming industry is going, but it, it is a very terrible trend, in my opinion. In my shitty opinion. I have no fucking idea where to, where to like, find the rest of the red coins. Oh, I think the, oh, I think the fucking cannon's open, actually. Nope, cannon's not open, even though I believe you fucking launch yourself up there to get a red coin. You get up here? No? Mario? Shake your head no? Alright. Oh, there's one actually. Okay. Okay, once I grab this coin, I'm gonna see how many uh, coins I actually have. In my possession. On my person. On my Mario. Okay, come on. Come about the water. Come on. Like a baby dolphin. Mario. There we go. <clears throat> Woohoo! Okay, number six. All right. So I got the I got the few on the on the ghost ship. Got a few over here. Um, am I missing one in a clam? I have a feeling I'm missing one in a clam. Oh, I'm right. Yeah. Oh, there's eight. Shit. All right. So I feel like I have another clam that I'm missing. I know it's not one of those. I'm just gonna go back for air, and then I'm gonna. Diving down into the fucking deep. Dive, dive, Captain. Jesus, button clicking must get fucking annoying. Do 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 do. Do 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 Okay, so I was wrong. Lo and behold. I believe there's... Actually, there might be some over here. There might be... The last eighth coin might actually be up here. I might have actually missed it. Do 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 Ha! I just realized. I have 69 coins. Get it? You get it? You, you get it? It's a sex joke. Did I see it? No, I did not see it. That's just fucking armor. Or Metal Mario. Metal... Metal fucking Mario. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's probably in fucking, like, wide open. It's probably actually legitimately, like, 
in the open somewhere. I'm just too retarded to actually find it. Yahoo! Yahoo! Yeah! 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 Playing fucking Mario Kart over here. That's a game we should probably play. It's fucking Mario Kart. Or maybe there is a coin. Oh, you know what? There are coins, actually. Now I remember. Yeah, there's a coin up here. I'm pretty sure. I have to actually talk to the pink bomb mom over there. Over yonder. And then, uh, that, that opens the fucking little cannon. And then I fly on over to the other side. Come on. Hey, what's up? Boo-boo-boo-boo-boo! Eat the pickle. Yeah, those are my fucking sound effects. God, I'm turning into Brandon. I'm being infected! And it's terrible. It's god-awful. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I mean, like, contrary to what it may appear, I am actually having a lot of fun playing this game again. It's nice and relaxing. Shit. Um, which one is it? I guess this is just a fancy way of telling me life choices. Um, do we- no? Alright, okay. I guess I have to aim a little bit higher. Do 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 Yeah, fucking going back on the whole game industry shit, like game developers, there are just so many terrible trends that game developers do. They it's like it's it's so annoying that they believe that it's un they're all almost all under the impression that hey, maybe we should do what's trending. Like no one's gonna wanna play a platformer in twenty fourteen. It's like, well, how the fuck do you know that? Like, maybe I want to fucking play a Mario game, just like the old days or something. Like, not really the old days per se, but, you know, relative to my age. And so it's like, you know, the old days being like fucking Mario 64. I mean, I did play the original Marios, but I mean fucking Mario 64, because my, I think my first, um, actually no, my I think my first uh, console was actually, son of a fucking bitch. My first console was actually this little tiny um, handheld like football game that my dad owned. It was like this. It was like this little football. Are you are you fucking kidding me? Are you are you, are you fucking kidding me? It, it was right there. It was right there the whole time. It was right in there the whole time. Yeah, I think my uh, my Mario Kart just got revoked. I should feel ashamed of myself. What should I do? But yeah, I mean, the conversation we were just having, I, I think I'll save that for another time. It's actually running a little, uh, little overtime on this episode. I'll be probably shooting another one, though. Since Brandon's not back yet from his haircut, and it just fucking, he has a little fucking bro cut. Like, what the hell could they be working on? you like, be getting a fucking afro, a mohawk, a fucking afrock. Fucking mysteries of fucking Brandon's hair. All it is is just, like, a little snippets of, like, fucking little pieces of hair. Styled in a faux hawk looking shit. But, until next time...